What's up guys? We're back in Hemet, which is a very rare site. I haven't been here in well over a month. Just stopped in real quick and then I'm off to another project. But I got the Bronco behind me and I figured I would kind of give you an update of what we've done. So a lot has changed since we last showed you the Bronco, but I want to keep you updated and make sure we're on the same page. So I'm going to clip in some old clips right now of where we ended last time. So our last video, we finished it off. Uh, I got down. It was when we were in the big quarantine. I was out here by myself working on the Bronco, getting dirty, pulled the motor out, um, started pulling the tranny out. We had pulled the seats out, the bench sheets. Those were getting sent off to upholstery, but the paint, we are gonna keep it original and just kind of is gonna kind of have that patina look where it looks rusty, but the inside's gonna be super clean and underneath is gonna be pretty spotless and especially with the 650 horsepower Ford big block, it's gonna, she's gonna be scooting. So this Bronco build has been pretty cool because my dad, when he was a kid, he had a Bronco, kind of similar like this. So it's been kind of a cool thing to come together. Um, you know, me and my dad, just building the whole thing together and seeing that image together and having his ideas and my ideas and kind of just having them aligned because, I mean, I've got like the younger generation. I got all this cool technology, whatnot, where he's got the old simple ways. And we come in here and he's like, oh, I remember working on this when I was a kid. Like, I don't know, I think it's just cool because Bronco is just bringing us together and now Ford just released their all new little teaser of their new Bronco, which I think is pretty cool and how they're bringing in their history of the Bronco. So it's, it's just kind of cool, in my opinion, to see the different, you know, my family, how we've always had the Bronco in our family and now Ford's kind of bringing it in and talking about their, their history of the Bronco and what it's done. And this thing's gonna have a lot of new features with still that classic just rumble and the realness of it. And then to have it compared to the new one, I think it's just gonna be like, I don't know, I'm pretty excited. So I think it's gonna be a fun, just classic car that my dad and I can cruise. And I think it's gonna be fun, you know, go get dinner and you know, go for a cruise on the way there and obviously do some burnouts with this big motor and some general tires, smoke them up, so. What do you think, take this thing to the burn yard when it's done? For sure, if, if my dad would give me the keys. We'll have to see. I don't know if he's gonna let me take it. Every time I go to the burn yard, things get wild. I'm like, I'm gonna take it easy, you know, just hang out. Next thing you know, yeah, I got Zach in my ear. I got someone else, you know, they're, oh, that thing do a burnout. And next thing you know, I'm tagging walls, hitting things, things are on fire. You know, it's, you know. Last time I went, I'd, the, I could barely get the truck on the trailer. It was limping, blown out tires, things were just destroyed. Everything was melted because we did such a long burnout, but I don't know. As long as I can keep, maybe if my dad came and he does some of the burnouts and keeps Zach away from us, because Zach's just, Zach's the, Zach, Mr. Zach, he just likes to get in your ear and as always with my builds, you guys know the deal. I like to start up front, so let's start up front. We can look in here. Um, we got we started we pulled the motor last time, obviously, but now everything is getting stripped down and ready for paint. And now we have pulled all the suspension. The tranny's gone, so you can get down under here. It's literally just kind of a bare chassis. But um, yeah, it might not look like a lot's been done, but building cars is a lot of work. Everyone's been killing this thing, and I'm pretty excited, especially how clean it is. You know, when you buy these old classic cars. You can do so much, but you really don't know until you start to really tear this thing apart. And this thing has very minimum rust on the chassis, at least. Um, just a little bit of, you know, a little rust here and there, surface rust, but nothing that's going to kill us. So that, that made me excited. Because a lot of these cars, if you buy them back east, you know, they see so much of salt on the roads. It kills these things. I swear, this one's, I like to call it a California car, where it's nice and pretty, frames all intact, so. Let's keep moving to some more action. Now this is where we've seen the most change, so the inside. I'm pretty stoked on the interior and how it's turning out. Like I said, last time we were gonna switch, we didn't want two bucket seats, we wanted one solid bench seat so we can all pile in when we're going to dinner, and it just gives it that more classic vibe. So we just got these back from the upholstery shop, and honestly, so sick, look. Um, I love this like blanket. I painted all the frames so it looks brand new almost. And then we put all new carpet kits in, and we are slowly kind of redoing everything inside. I think my dad has ordered probably every little plastic piece inside. He just sits on um, like the Bronco graveyard and LMC truck and orders every single little piece. So right now it's still just coming together, but he's been ordering all, 
I'll show you the dash, it's outside. Every little piece, because he just wants it to be perfect inside. Like he's like, might as well, since we've got it this far torn apart, to have everything perfect, new, don't have to worry about it, but I mean. So cruising around town, you're gonna want some good tunes, right? Yeah, for sure. So we got this massive thing. This is gonna be like the most modern thing on the car for sure. <laughs> so this is the kicker cam. Jimmy. Excuse me, Jimmy. This is the KMC5 kicker head unit. Um, this thing, I think it's technically designed for a boat, but we love the look of it. So we're putting in an insane system of kicker. It's not gonna be like crazy, crazy, but it's gonna be plenty for what this thing does. This thing's gonna be bumping for sure, while still keeping that classic look. So I'm pretty excited and uh... What's the first song you're gonna play? The first song I'm gonna play. One of my go-tos all the time for a stereo system check is a song called Good Time. I mean, we might have to do it with that or a few updates. Good Time will be playing on here if we can figure it out, but. Let's go check out the speakers. I got them all in a box over here. I'll pull them out and show you. Here's some of the systems we got. We got a huge four channel amp. Um, we're gonna stuff this up under the seat. So we got these pretty rad speakers, these QS series. They got tweeters, little woofers and then crossovers to kind of tune this thing all in. We already got these rear six by nines in, which I'm pretty stoked. Um, we're kind of moving to the back now. You can see the rear interior is coming together. It's keeping it classic black. We got the rear bench seat in. This kicker system is gonna be pretty rad. Thanks to the guys at Kicker. So always a shout out to them for hooking it up with these pretty rad systems so we can be bumping. All right, so we got piles of parts coming in. So I give you a little, you know, update of kind of what was going on, but there's still a lot more to come. We got headers, all new uh, door panels. Like I said, my dad is buying pretty much every little knickknack and part because he wants this thing to be in pristine condition inside. We actually got a whole new grill, even more kicker stuff, more speakers. I think we get like a daily shipment of stuff from either LMC Truck or uh, Bronco Graveyard or one of those other websites because my dad's always like I'll come out at night night like go to get a drink of water like one morning he's on the computer I'm like what are you doing well, I was ordering this part for the Bronco <laughs> I thought about it here's a lot of just the old parts uh, that we've kind of we haven't thrown away yet or we're these are actually kind of salvageable we're, we're still deciding I mean like new windshield wiper fluid um, obviously k and air filter keep this thing clean got some springs for it make sure it rides got a lift kit we're not gonna lift it too high, but you know, make sure she looks looks good so we can tuck some big generals under there. You know, I'm pushing for like 37s, but we'll see what we can tuck under. But yeah, that's kind of a wrap of the update where we're at right now with the Bronco. Hope you guys enjoyed it. But as always, you guys know the deal. Hit that subscribe button right here. We drop a new video every Wednesday, 9.45 Pacific Standard Time. We got some new stuff coming. I'm officially out of the needles takeover for now. And now we're heading up to Mammoth for a different job, um, working construction again, getting my butt kicked. We'll see you next week. Have a good one.